Hello guys, how are you doing? And welcome back to a new game! As you can see, it says Mass Effect, and that is because that is what we're going to play! I thought, you know, it takes place in space, so that kind of ties in well with Spore. So, you know, as, if you don't know, Mass Effect is an RPG from Bioware, and it came out like uh, 2009, I think, and since then there's been three games. And there's a new one coming next year, which will be exciting. So anyway, I have already played all three of the Mass Effect games, but you know, these kind of games are games that you can replay and get like a whole different experience out of. So I thought that we would do that and hopefully you guys will enjoy too. So I'm gonna go ahead and- Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. So, we're gonna make a character, which is the first step. It's almost like Spore. Almost. Oh, I have to click the button, I guess. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. And we're definitely not gonna play as Yawn Shepherd. Goodbye. Uh, quick. Uh, custom female. <laughs> I thought a little bit about the name and I'm just gonna name them Pleco. Name her Pleco. Yep. Pleco Shepherd, here to save the galaxy for you. Not to spoil the game or anything, but yeah. By the way, this is a long game. This is a very long game. Warning. Data corruption detected. Oh no, something is wrong. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm free service history. Okay, so here we have kind of like free um, uh, origins, I guess you can say. And it's about where your character was from. Kind of. Where they were born and stuff. Uh, my first shepherd, or well, the one I played as last, uh, she was a earthborn. So yeah, she was pretty much an orphan. Yeah. Uh, so I thought I'm gonna take another one for this time around. Spacer, colonist. Uh, how about spacer? Confirm psychological profile. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, I think I chose War Hero last time, and I'm just gonna show Scott again, or maybe Soul Survivor. No, you know what? That sounds interesting. Oh my god, this is actually kind of important to the gameplay. I played as a Vanguard last time. I enjoyed that. Um, what's this? Infiltrators. can use pistols or sniper rifles. That's interesting. I like sniper rifles. Adept. Although this one seems cool because it has uh, biotic, biotic stuff and I like that. So you know what, I'm gonna choose that one. We're gonna change our appearance a little bit. Obviously we can't make a pleco, which is sad. I, I would like that, but n no. But I'm not gonna like uh, take too long on this. I'm just gonna. Let's see here. I think we're gonna make her blonde. And change the hairstyle. I'm sorry that the graphics are so awful. I'm not sure if they'll be better in the actual game, but this is an old game, so you know. Mass Effect isn't really known for the great graphics. So yeah. What is this? It's a bun. Uh, that's a ponytail. Um, this is so difficult. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Br brow. That's. Eyebrows, that's the most important part of the face, obviously. I kind of like those, though. 
She's just gonna end up looking like my old character. Maybe these though. Yeah, th those are great. And I'm gonna make the brows blonde too, just to, you know. There. That's that's great. Yes. Um, makeup. That's important. Maybe we can give her some. Uh, let's see here. Eyeshadow color. I'm gonna try to find a blue one. Just to have, or a, no, there's no colors. Not really, I guess. Okay, we'll find them. I was thinking if there was like a blue one or a, a orange one, we could have had some sort of resemblance to Pleco, but nope. How about the lips? Oh my god. That looks really cool, to be honest. Yep, we're done. Profile reconstruction complete. Plecker Shepherd, Spacer, Soul Survivor, and an Adept. Yep, I can live with this. Confirm. Identification confirmed. Uh, oh my god. I think I played on normal last time, but I think I'm just gonna keep it on normal. Because as I remember it, the first game was the most difficult one for me. Uh, combat-wise, so yeah. Squad only, normal, active. Yes. Okay. There's going to be a lot of cutscenes, by the way, especially now in the first episode. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on some Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space ferry civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. Blah, 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 blah. Mass effect. Sorry, I couldn't keep up and read everything. Oh, look, it's Jupiter. Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500 k 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead, so that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. <laughs> yeah, they are so charming. Um... Right, and we have this conversation wheel whenever you're like in a conversation with someone, you can choose your reply. And um, this is the Paragon answer. 
this is the renegade answer. This is the neutral answer. I was a paragon last time. I'm gonna be a paragon again because I like being nice. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a calm buoy and link us into the lake. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yep. Sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. I can't possibly imagine. <laughs> They're so salty. Please, can you just be friends? I know. They don't want to talk to me. That's so sad. Anyway, I'm sorry if the cutscenes are a bit laggy. I don't really know why. Uh, can I talk to someone here? I'm gonna try to talk to most people. Hi, Presley. How are you doing? Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh, yeah. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a spectre, a Turian spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. It's a bit strange. I'll look into it for you, buddy. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. Why am I saying thank you? I was just talking to him. Hi, Shaquas. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with the Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coup. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my yeah, I'm so cool, man. The brass what I can do. Be sure. Young Corporal, you have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Uh, yeah. Goodbye. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. A lot of these characters are in uh, uh, the two other games, by the way. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. You'll give us a chance to talk. Captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. It is beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? I don't know, man. Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Super Stay dangerous. Truly ready for There's rocks. I think it's about time we told the commander what's we <gasps> Oh my god. Mission is far more than a simple shakedown. I knew it! I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup of Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Oh, that's cool. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Ditch. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper studies. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest, Commander. 
This discovery could affect every species in council space. Well, that's nice, kind of. So I, I'm glad you're here to help. Never hurts to have a few extra nice. hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. He is Neither pretty cute. <laughs> He's here to rebel. I should have known. This explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you and Fiona Cruz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. That's very nice of you, Nihilus. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? I... Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see potential. I didn't mean to say that. To see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Yeah. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs to be shipped. We're counting on I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'm not gonna ask anything, because I, I want to go. I want to go to the action. Just give the word, Captain. Should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh, What's no. wrong, Joker? The Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get back. They came out of nowhere. We need. Oops. Oh no. That obviously wasn't good. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold it 38.5. How does he know it was 48.5? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just said a lot more calm. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. We're going in. Yeah. We're going down to the planet. To Eden Prime. To get the beacon. Engaging stealth systems. Serious digging. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. He's so fast and ahead. cool. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Thank you, buddy. Uh, approaching drop point two. Wow. And now we get to play the game. Woo. This plan is that pretty. Okay, I guess it has trees. That's pretty beautiful. Hi, Caden. Oh no. Yeah, this place looks so terrible. Where, where did all these rocks come from? What the heck? And what are these things? Exactly. 
gas bags. Yeah, well that's that's a that's a great name to like name something a gas bag. I think they're cute. Are the are those red things eyes? Cause that's adorable. I want one as a pet. Please, please let me have one. Oh, they have like oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking at the gas bags and move on with my life. Didn't you just ask that, Jenkins? Oh, we have to holster the weapon. We can zoom in, wow. Amazing stuff. What are they shooting at, the lasers? That's just a gas bag. Oh no, Jenkins! Uh, uh, there we go. I have gained the level! Woo! Yeah, okay. Um, uh, do we already have these? I guess we do. Um, shield boost, the barrier. Uh, it might be good to have. Yeah, I'm gonna put one there too. In there. Um, lift. Okay, well I like throw, so let's just put the points in there, I guess. Uh, and one in basic armor. Okay. Nice. Take out those hostiles. We have already killed the hostiles, Caden. Oh, we have to go forward, okay. I'm so sorry, Jenkins. I did not mean to let you die. A very sad day. He deserves a burial. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the Kaden is just looking into the camera like you. Okay, he's looking into the camera, but you know. He was like, yeah, look at how fancy I am. Uh, okay. Oh, right, I guess we should uh, just tab. I know that you can press something and then it will show you if there's anything to pick up nearby. But there isn't. So I guess we're just gonna keep on going forward. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Down, Shepard. Shepard, why are you just standing there? Caden, don't die. I don't think that this stone is very good as a protection thing. Okay, Nihilus. Be careful! Um, that's just a gas bag. No, oh, here we go. Wait. Oh, whatever. Heat sink. Well, let's equip that. Uh, you can equip... I think you can equip uh, upgrades here. Yeah. Give me. Yeah, equip. There we go. I didn't figure that out, uh, like, until I had played half of the first game last time I played. Yeah, I, I didn't... Oh god. Shepard, don't. It's a bit hard to hit these things, I have to say. It's so... Well, god. There we go. I'd like to uh, use my abilities too. Yeah, they're down. I'm not sure how to. Uh, hold on. I think it's. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, these are Caden's abilities and these are mine. I'm just gonna put these up here in the hot bar, I guess. Okay, now we're more ready. Oh, here's a medical kit. That's great. Med kits are always awesome. Oh, you can run too. I kind of forgot about that. Oh god, no. I don't want to go into the stones. Oh god. Oh, it's Ashley. Hi. 
She was in the video that we saw before. Oh no! What is going on? Yo! That's not a nice way to go. Those are gifts, by the way. Just so you know. Is Kaden dead? I think Kaden is dead. I am so sorry, Kaden. I did not mean to kill you. It's alright. Are you okay? Oh god. <laughs> I'm so sorry that the dialogue keeps screwing up. I don't know why. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious, though. <laughs> Man. They cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. I'm so sorry. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the veil in 200 years. Why are they here now? What are they doing? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Uh, no, I'm not gonna speak. Move Let's out. go. Move out! It take. Pressing I opens the equipment screen. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, the thing is, I can only use pistols, I think. Well, Kaden can use this. Here you go, Kaden. Let's just go. I'm gonna figure out the things later. Oh! How nice! Some armor. Is this... Uh, is this what I have? Oh, there we go. Uh, yep. Oh, it's uh, camouflage. That's nice. Okay. Great stuff. All these poor people on spikes. It's not very nice to do that to people. Just saying. Okay. Nice. They say I will automatically crouch, but I don't crouch. Good shepherd, good shepherd. Oh god. Shepherd. Shep, ship, ship, shepherd, ship, come on. Yeah, there we go. Good job. Kaden is dead again. Kaden just keeps on dying. He is a bad soldier. Oh god. Okay. They have like a shield thing, that's the blue. Uh parts on the thing. Kaden. Is he just gonna stay down now? Oh, oh, there's another person? Ha <laughs> ha. Get thrown, buddy. <laughs> yeah, how do you know that? You're like all the way over there, okay. Great. Um, I don't know what's happened to the controls. Maybe I'm just a bit unused to it. Huh, yeah, huh. Let's investigate the dig site. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been... By who? Why does the dialogue keep cutting out? I'm so sorry. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Oh. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay, now I'll see you soon. Let's just take this stuff. Shotgun, shotgun, sniper rifle. Oh, and I leveled up. I guess I gotta do that too. 
let's level up. Because that's important. Um, maybe Charm and uh, Depth. And I'm going to put one there too. Okay. Great! Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the first episode here because it's closing up to half an hour, so, you know. I'm probably not going to be able to edit out a lot either because, I mean, it's a lot of dialogue and the cutscenes and stuff, and that's something you don't want to cut out because that's bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series so far. Please leave a like if you do like it. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.